The Japanese government has raised the crisis level at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant from 5 to 7, the same level as the 1986 Chernobyl accident in the former Soviet Union, and the worst on the international scale. On March 11, 2011, Great East Japan Earthquake Coast accident and subsequent troubles happening at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant of TEPCO. Based upon the information that we have obtained on March the 18th, the agency provisionally assessed that the accident is equivalent to 7 on the INES scale. However, that the total amount of the, the radioactive substances release is 10 percent of that the Chernobyl accident. The Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency said on Tuesday that the damaged plant released a massive amount of radioactive material, but it is one-tenth of the volume released in the Chernobyl accident. The agency used the International Nuclear and Radiological Event Scale, or INES, to gauge the level. The scale is designed by an international group of experts to measure the gravity of nuclear events based on ratings of 0 to 7. Japan's Nuclear Safety Commission said much of the radiation was released during the two days after the suppression pool connected to the number two reactor began showing problems at 6 a.m. on March 15th. The commission said the radiation is still escaping from the plant and the amount is rising marginally, but the volume has dropped considerably since the crisis began. On March 18th, one week after the quake, the agency declared the Fukushima crisis a level 5, the same level as the 1979, I should say, Three Mile Island accident in the U.S. Level 7 has only been applied to Chernobyl in the former Soviet Union in 1986. At the time, hundreds of thousands of terabecros of radioactive iodine-131 were released into the air. Unlike Chernobyl, we have been able to come this far without causing any direct harm to human health. The nuclear accident itself is very large, but we will continue our efforts to resolve the situation, giving top priority to keep people safe from health hazards. Now here's the latest on what's happening at the crippled nuclear power plant. The operator of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has begun work to remove highly radioactive water after a one-day delay caused by a series of earthquakes since Monday. Tokyo Electric Power Company started transferring radiation-contaminated wastewater from a tunnel outside the number two reactor to a turbine condenser on Tuesday evening. The radioactive water had been hampering work to restore cooling functions in the damaged reactors. On Tuesday, a quake with an intensity of 6 minus on the Japanese scale of 0 to 7 hit near the plant shortly after 2 p.m. local time. The ex external power supply to the plant remained intact and the injection of water to cool the number 1, 2 and 3 reactors continued. The aftershocks have not affected the injection of nitrogen gas into the number 1 reactor in an effort to prevent a hydrogen blast. But TEPCO says the pressure readings inside the containment vessel have not have barely changed over the past few days, raising the possibility that radioactive gas might be leaking from the containment vessel. No shit. The company says it has not detected any increase in radiation levels around the reactor. It says it will continue the nitrogen injection and carefully monitor radiation levels. Now speaking of downgrades, now speaking of downgrades, the Japanese government has also downgraded its assessment of the economy for the first time in six months. The report for April will be released officially on Wednesday after a cabinet meeting. Sources say the report attributes the downgrade to a decline in corporate production after many plants halted or reduced operation following the massive earthquake. The disaster also had a negative effect on consumer spending. Automobile and department store sales also fell due to rotating blackouts. The report for April is expected to say the economy is showing some signs of weakness in the wake of the major earthquake. No shit. This is a downward revision from the March report, which said that although the economy was turning to pick up, it was only weakly self-sustaining. The Japanese government has raised the crisis level at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant from 5 to 7. Now speaking of downgrades, the Japanese government has also downgraded its assessment of the economy. Oh, no.